everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite desserts, Cherry Delight. Or as my mom called it when I was growing up, Cherry Crunch. <music> to make Cherry Delight, you need a crust that's ready to go and I'm using my favorite pecan nut crust. This is the only part of the dessert that you have to bake ahead of time. I usually will bake it the night before and have it ready to go. I have another video with this recipe and I'm linking to it at the top here so that you can go over there and see exactly how to make the crust with all the ingredients, ingredient amounts, and the instructions and everything. Let's get going with the Dream Whip filling now. The first thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and put my cream cheese in a separate mixing bowl. And I always scrape the extra cream cheese off the package. My grandma taught me to do that so I don't waste a thing. I believe my mom did this too. But I definitely remember my grandma doing this anytime she made anything with cream cheese. Alright, and I also let it soften beforehand. Just a tip so it's easier to mix up. All right, so now what we're gonna do is beat that cream cheese up so that it's uh, really ready to be mixed with the Dream Whip filling and you won't have, hopefully won't have chunks of cream cheese in your filling. It'll mix up easier. You're just going to beat it up a little bit and then you're going to need two envelopes of Dream Whip. To mix the Dream Whip, just mix two envelopes of Dream Whip powder with one cup of whole milk and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're just going to beat it on low until everything is mixed together well. Okay, everything is mixed together now, so I'm going to bump it up to a higher speed and I'm going to mix it until those soft peaks form. It's probably going to take about four minutes altogether. So we have some soft peaks here, or I like to call them soft little ruffles. You can kind of see that it's kind of ruffled. And when I lift my mixer up, the whipped cream stays right on the mixer paddle. It doesn't just drip off. So that's when you know that it's ready to go and ready to use. Now that we have our Dream Whip mixed up and ready to go, we're going to go ahead and remember that cream cheese we beat up? We're going to go ahead and just scoop that into the Dream Whip. Along with that cream cheese, you're going to go ahead and add, whoops, you're going to go ahead and add the two cups of powdered sugar. And then we're going to mix that up until it's really smooth and creamy, probably just maybe two or three minutes. Probably want to start out low at first so you don't fling powdered sugar everywhere and then you can bump up the speed once that's mixed in. Okay, I'm going to take a minute to scrape the sides of my bowl. Right, now I'm going to bump it up to a higher speed and mix it for a couple minutes. Okay, I think it's ready to go. Now you're just going to take that Dream Whip filling and you're just going to spread it into your pie crust. Now I have written down some other crust options that I have in my blog post as well because this dessert would be really delicious with a few different types of crust. As I mentioned before, if you want to make it truly no-bake, you could make it with a graham cracker crust or a pe pecan sandies crust. Um, 
Sometimes those crusts are baked for just a few minutes, but depends on the recipe. One of my readers gave me an idea of using graham, a graham cracker crust and then lining that with sliced bananas. I think that would be really delicious. You could also use vanilla wafers to make a crust. Um, you don't have to chop them up. You could just line your pan with vanilla wafers. Then you're just going to take your cherry pie filling and you're going to try to spread it out evenly onto your cherry to white, onto your dream whip filling. And you'll just spread those out to the best of your ability without disturbing the white filling underneath. Try to spread it up to the edges, but if you can't, that's okay. Now you're going to take your Cherry Delight, you're going to cover it, and you're going to chill it for at least four hours, but overnight if possible. That'll help it to sort of solidify, not really solidify, but it'll help everything to kind of stiffen up a little bit, and then it's better served cold, and I think it's better served the next day, so... Now, if you want to make this a different flavor, you can make Blueberry Delight, you can make Blackberry Delight, you can make Strawberry Delight. I actually have both Blueberry and Strawberry in other videos, so you could watch those and learn how to make those. Okay.